Hello and welcome to the ninth lecture in the Jabra Bayesian Machine Learning Series. Today we're going to start talking about probability distributions. Um, well, I say start talking about them, but we had already started with the, introduced the Gaussian distribution in the previous set of lectures. Um, and today we're just going to expand our pool of distributions that we can make use of. Um, when we are like training our machine learning algorithms and so on. So um, the one I'm going to introduce right now is a very simple distribution known as the Bernoulli distribution. Which would be the content for this lecture. So th this is a simple distribution and um, I just decided to start from here and because we're going to actually make use of the results of this distribution uh, to define the next one uh, that we're actually going to go through uh, in the next lecture uh, and I'll get to that later on. So uh, let's start with this. So let's say uh, Let's give an a simple example of flipping a coin, right? So when flipping a coin, we can define this, uh, the result from flipping a coin by a random variable x, right? That can take two values, say zero or one. Uh, where we can say zero is that the coin landed on tails and one is that it landed on heads. So I can write here x is equals to one represents heads right now we are trying to think about the probability uh, that we when we flip that coin we're actually going to land on head and we can express it as the probability of x is equals to one parameterized by mu this is equals to mu so we use mu to represent the probability uh, that the coin lands on head and since these two events landing on head and landing on tail are mutually exclusive we can define the probability of x being equals to zero parameterized by mu uh, being equal to one minus mu where mu takes values between zero and one very simple so um, now, the way that uh, we, we, we can actually form a, say, a distribution over this, where, which we term as the Bernoulli distribution, and it is defined as follows, that the Bernoulli distribution for some random variable x, which is parameterized by mu, is equal to mu to the x times 1 minus mu to the 1 minus x, right? So this is how we define this distribution. And as usual, um, when we start like uh, defining our probability distributions, there are a couple of things we try to take care of. And one of them is, well, we think that we, we want to make sure that it's a distribution that sums up to one um, and we want to find out uh, what is the say the expected value under that distribution as well as the variance under this uh, under the given distribution so um, yeah let's start from there okay so If we think about the expected value of this distribution, uh, well, th this is actually easy to think of because we know that the expected value of some distribution is uh, the function is solved times the probability distribution uh, under it. So for instance, in this case, we know that x can only take 
two values, zero and one, since it's a discrete distribution, and we multiply by x times mu to the x times one minus mu to the one minus x. So this is the definition of our function right here, like mu x times one minus mu, well, one minus x, and we multiply it by x, uh, like, uh, so this is our probability distribution, multiply by the function itself, and we take the summation of this. That's how we compute the expectation as we've shown in the previous videos. Um, and this uh, actually results in, so this is the expected value of x. Right. Uh, sorry. I mean, uh, so let's actually find the value for this. Uh, this is equals to, if we substitute zero here, uh, this is actually equal to zero. So we're only left with one, which is uh, mu to the one times one minus mu, uh, one minus one, which is equals to mu to the one minus mu to the power of zero, which is equal to mu, right? So this is the expected value for this distribution. Um, because once again, uh, just to clarify, in case this is puzzling you, um, the expectation of x for a function, right, we say summation x times probability distribution of x. So our probability distribution here is our Bernoulli distribution that we gave here and we multiply it by a function x. That's how we compute the expectation. So I just substituted it there and just found the value there. And as we defined before in the previous lectures, the variance, right, uh, for us to find the variance, first we need to find the value of expectation of x squared. If you do the same uh, substitution here, like summation x squared times mu x one minus mu one minus x, we'll find that this also gives us a value of mu. Uh, it should be straightforward, so I'll skip over the calculation for that. And the variance of x, we can compute it as the expectation of x squared minus e squared x which is equals to mu minus mu squared uh, which is equals to mu times 1 minus mu so that's it that's how simple it is for us to uh, compute uh, this uh, things under the Bernoulli distribution and um, well, you can see for yourself uh, why this events should sum up to one. Um, so that's also a trivial um, result that comes from this. So after this, um, well, the next step when we are trying, when we're dealing with this distributions as we've done so far, is to start thinking about how we can compute the value of mu how we can find the value of mu uh, in, for example, a frequentist setting where we try to find the maximum likelihood and so on. So to do that, um, first let's assume that we have a data set, which I'll define by D, which takes the following values, which is like x1, x2, all the way up to xn. And each one of those will take values either 1 or 0 to indicate whether we saw a head or a tail. So heads or tails. And so we define this as the observed values uh, of x. And again, we're still talking about flipping a coin here. So assuming that these observations are independent and identically distributed, we can define our likelihood function, right? Which is the probability of observing this data set given mu. And we say that this is the product from 
n is equals to 1 until n of probability of each individual item xn given you which of course is the product from n is equals to 1 until n of mu to the xn times 1 minus mu to the 1 minus xn because that's the, that's the definition uh, that we gave for our distribution here yeah, for our Bernoulli distribution so this is what we have and what we're trying to find we're trying to maximize this likelihood so that uh, we well we know what the value of mu is under the maximum likelihood setting and how we would actually find that so to maximize this likelihood uh, we as we denoted in the previous lectures it's much easier for us to maximize the log likelihood so to do that we apply our ln operator so ln p of d given mu which is equals to the ln of this whole product that we have here so, so that's from n is equals to one until n let me just rewrite this quickly okay and um, so the next thing we need to do is well uh, the log of a sum should be the sum of the logs uh, as we already know now by now so this should give us summation from n is equals to 1 until n of ln uh, mu xn 1 minus mu to be 1 minus xn okay so this is where we are on the steps so let's actually expand this terms out and if we expand this terms out we'll end up with summation from n is equals to 1 until n of xn ln mu plus 1 minus xn ln 1 minus mu uh, so I actually skipped a step yet but it should be if you're familiar with logarithm operators it should be easy to uh, reach this point so the next thing we need to do is to take the derivative with respect to mu right of ln um so ln p d given mu which is equal to taking the derivative with respect to mu of the summation from n is equals to one until n of x n ln mu plus 1 minus xn ln 1 minus mu okay so we take the derivative of this term with respect to mu and what we end up with is a summation from n is equals to 1 until n uh, so we take the derivative with respect to mu of xn ln mu and that should uh, give us xn over mu um, plus this should be 1 minus xn uh, the derivative of what's outside which is 1 over uh, just using the chain rule here 1 minus mu times the derivative of what's inside which is minus 1 so that means this is equal to the summation uh, of xn over mu minus 1 minus xn over 1 minus mu right so this is where we are and the next step is to simplify this even further and to do that um, well we just define our common denominator here which is mu 1 minus mu uh, that's our common denominator and as our numerator we'll have a mu into mu so 
this should be pretty straightforward x and one minus mu oh sorry this should be minus plus minus mu one minus x n and from here we get the summation from n is equals to one until n uh, we expand out these terms we've got x n minus mu x n minus mu plus mu uh, plus mu xn yeah all of this divided by mu 1 minus mu okay so um, this is all fine and uh, because we're doing maximum likelihood estimate uh, we want to set this derivative to be equal to zero. So for that, um, we are left with x n minus mu over mu times one minus mu. And we set this to be equal to zero, uh, which means the summation from, um, we multiply both sides by the denominator and we say the summation of xn minus mu is equals to zero uh, which means that the summation from n is equals to one into n of xn is equal to the summation from n is equals to one up to n of mu but since mu is a constant we can just multiply it out and end up with n mu right which means n mu is equals to this summation and which means that the mu under the maximum likelihood estimate is actually equal to one over n times the summation from n is equals to one to n of xn. Of course, this is something you can, um, you would have found, I mean, it's a trivial thing to find out by yourself, especially given that the example here is very simple. Uh, but it's good for us to actually um, practice the steps um, for finding, say, uh, the maximum uh, log likelihood under some distribution, in this case it's a Bernoulli distribution, uh, and try to figure out uh, what the expected value and um, what the say uh, variance might be uh, under that distribution and so on. So having said that, um, this, yeah, this was a very simple uh, lecture and I'm just going to end it here. So thank you.